This is Ultimate Rebuilds, and we are back on this classic 1984 surf jet, which is basically a long surfboard with a two-stroke motor on the back. Pretty much the gist of it. Previous episodes, we were narrowing down the problem. When I bought this thing, it ran but did not move in the water. I think we figured out the problem, but before we figured out the problem, we need to fix the board because it had a lot of leaks and cracks and the foam was starting to get waterlogged. So we had to fix all that last episode and we put a sick paint job on it that everyone seems to love and I love it too. It really changed the style of it. I didn't care for the blue. I like this a lot more. I think it looks awesome. This episode, we need to start putting it back together and hopefully figure out why it's not moving in the water. We narrowed it down a lot in the previous episodes and also hearing from you guys, your ideas. One of the ideas that you guys had was that the motor could be running backwards with two stroke motors. If you spin it the opposite way, it can start running backwards. I didn't know that was a thing until you guys told me. We can look into that, make sure it's spinning the right way before we start putting it all back together. But the main problem I believe it is, and I've talked to a couple other people on Facebook, and this is a very common problem for them, is that an air pocket gets stuck in there and it won't suck up water and it ends up damaging your impeller, which has happened on our previous impeller. Uh, I believe that is a problem which is caused by not putting enough silicone on your gaskets or just bad gaskets in general. Luckily, we have new gaskets we can install and some new silicone. I need to do this right now because we need to install the gaskets, put a bunch of silicone on, and wait 24 hours before we can install the motor again. That is the plan right now. Hopefully it works. If the motor's not running backwards and the gasket doesn't fix the problem, we're back to square one and I don't really know where to go from there. So hopefully this fixes the problem. We have 100% silicone, marine silicone. We got a bunch of different kinds. Or use it all. <laughs> hopefully this works. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Install this one, wait 24 hours, and then we can install the motor and make sure all that stuff is working. Let's do it. New gaskets are on, new impeller is installed. We made sure the thing was spinning the right way. It is. Put the gas tank in, install the motor with a healthy amount of silicone so there should be no air leaks in this thing. That is supposed to be the problem with this thing not propelling water out. Uh, if it's not that, then I have no idea what it could be. So we're really banking on this being the problem. Next, we need to finish hooking up the rest of this. I have gas lines to hook up, kill switch to install, the prime ball to all hook up. We got all that to do. The main thing I want to talk about is this hydraulic throttle assembly. This was not hooked up when I bought this. So I'm just hoping I can figure out how it works. I think it's pretty much self-explanatory. I just got to bleed it with some hydraulic fluid. It is controlled by this handle up here in the front. You press that in while you're on the board and that controls the throttle. It's pretty simple and it's not locked up or anything so it should work. 
The hardest part's gonna be bleeding this thing and making sure there's no air in it. So we gotta figure out how to do that. That's gonna be the hardest part of finishing this thing up and hopefully it all still works by the time we're done. Cause this has been a while since I've hooked it all up and hopefully it still runs. <laughs> uh, I haven't started it in a while either. Took a little break again. After all that's done, then we can take it down to the water and test it out. If it doesn't work, then this thing's gonna be a heavy paperweight because I have no idea what the problem could be. So we're really banking on this being it. Please be it. So let's get to hooking this thing up and finishing it up. A little bit left to do. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I really thought this was gonna fix it and it ended up doing the same exact thing. It tore up the impeller, so I have to get a new impeller again. That's like 200 and something dollars. It's just a lot more money than I wanna spend on this thing. I'm, I don't know what else to do and I, I don't have anyone to ask. Parts are hard to come by. I don't even know if he has any more impellers. It's just, I feel like I'm just throwing money away right now. So with that being said, I am gonna take a break on this project. I hate saying that I quit, but this has just been such a frustrating project because it just seems like there's no hope for it. Every time I try to do something, it ends up the same thing happening again. And it's like hard to find any kind of like knowledge on it because they're so old and it's hard to find parts for it because they're so old and like rare. Uh, not saying I won't come back to this. I'm just gonna give it a few months. I have a couple other projects I really wanna get into and this just seems to be taking up so much time because I order a part, it takes weeks to get in, put that part on, still goes bad. I have to take it all back apart. It just seems to be like a never ending cycle and once you do it so many times, you just kinda go insane, I guess. Same thing, doing same thing over and over again 
expecting a different outcome. I think that's the definition of insanity. <laughs> and it's not, it's not working. So taking a break on this, I don't think I'm going to sell it because I do want to try to get it working. It's just I need a break. I need something else to do. And I got to figure out what the problem is before I spend another $300 on parts that break right away. I don't know. So that is a wrap for this thing for the time being. I have a couple of other projects. I have two that I'm working on right now. I have a couple of videos that are uh, should be ready to post here in a couple of weeks. And... Uh, another and another really big project on the way should be here by the end of the month yeah just a lot more content more projects coming and this thing has just been kind of dragging me down because it's just so hard to <laughs> work on it not the outcome i wanted for this project but it's time to move on to other things better things if you guys have an instagram you can follow me there i post some behind the scenes on my story and some previews to what's to come you guys can check me out there uh, i also have a tiktok if you want to check me out there I uh, have one video series that is not on YouTube. You can check that out if you want to. If not, I will catch you guys in the next episode on a new project, on a couple new projects, actually. And you might even be able to see some in the background of this video. Just little sneak peeks. All right, that is it. Catch you guys later. I hate this thing. <laughs> Bye.